Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading. This is going to be for Libra for May 2022. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look at your over energy surrounding your money and career for the month of May. And then we'll see what you could look forward to for the rest of May and onward. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are our general messages, okay? Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Um, so Libra, we're going to pull some Oracle messages and then we'll get into the tarot, okay? Um, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra regarding regarding their career and their money for May 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for um, Libra here? What do you have for Libra regarding their career and their money? We have body work. That's so interesting. I looked on the bottom of the deck of this before we shuffled, and this was on the bottom of the deck, and it's showing up again. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, and exercise training. Okay, so uh, maybe you guys work in that industry, okay? In, 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 uh, per, maybe personal training or something like that, or something with the body, physiology, okay? Um, and then we have books. Maybe this is something that you write about too, okay? So seems like you guys do some sort of um, work with the body here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Maybe you guys write about this. Maybe you guys blog about this, okay? Um, maybe, you guys, maybe you guys give tutorial about this or something like that. Uh, let's see what else we have here for Libra. We have heart, emotional spending, joint finances, being supported, counselor, guide, having a job that you love. So this is something that you really enjoy doing here, okay? Uh, just be careful about your spending here. Maybe you might be spending a lot. Emotional spending could stem from maybe a separation that you're going through here, okay? Money blocks, being stuck, financially sound, water-related, travel stable for now. A lot of you guys might travel for your work, okay? Yeah, I feel like you guys might be struggling financially because I feel like you guys might be overspending here. Let's see what else we have here for Libra. What else do we have here for Libra? We have the uh, top cycle approaches. You are good enough. So if you're struggling financially, I feel like a, a, this tough cycle is about to end. Or maybe if you just started this business, maybe things are starting to take off for you here, okay? So I feel like maybe, you know, through this experience, you might be uh, realizing your worth here, okay? Or that you you have what it takes to make something work, uh, or, uh, make something work for yourself. Um, we have Capricorn energy right there. You might have Capricorn in your chart. You might have Virgo in your chart too. What else do we have here for Libra regarding their career and their money? What else do we have here for Libra regarding their career and their money for uh, May 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Libra. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Death card. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Cups here and the Knight of Cups. We have the Two of Cups here. Okay, you know, a tough cycle... Remember how I was saying that, you know, this emotional, this emotional spending could stem from a separation in the relationship? That could be it. Or that it, maybe, you know, a business deal or a business business partnership didn't work out here uh, because perhaps there were lies and deception here. Someone that you didn't trust, okay? So we have the Seven of Swords and the Death card. Scorpio energy right there. And we have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um... One of those. Hold on one sec. And then we have the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, I feel like 
with the tough cycle ending here, I feel like your money might is going to bounce back because I feel like there is a ton of new opportunity that will be coming towards you uh, regarding your work situation, okay? Uh, perhaps, you know, you know, maybe you didn't have enough money at some point and uh, perhaps your business started to stagnate. And I feel like there's an energy of definitely that hurdle that you, you've been going through here. That's going to uh, shift, all right? Uh, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Okay, we have the Four of Cups, Death. We have the Five of Cups, King of Swords. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords. King to the Queen of Swords here. It seems like maybe you could have got, got into business here with someone that you were romantically involved with. And I feel like that didn't work out. Okay, I feel like there was maybe a lack of trust or that you guys were spending too much time together that you guys didn't have time apart. Uh, because I feel like you guys were at odds a lot, okay? Um, Seven of Cups. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Okay, and then we have the Two of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Death card. There is some sort of disappointment surrounding the situation that you're in regarding your work life here. I feel like you're disappoint disappointed in someone that you trusted and then they, they lie to you. Okay, whoever this person is, this person might have been a bit of an opportunist or that this person was really money driven here. We have the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Seems like there could have been a, a bunch of people that was doing this, okay? Um, where, you know, these individuals might have lied to you, might have taken advantage of you, okay? Uh, two of Cups. Seems like there was some sort of partnership that just didn't work out. We have the Three of Wands here, and I feel like you're uh, trying to figure out a plan here, trying to formula formulate a plan on what's next for you. You are looking towards the future here. You know, I feel like you're trying to s decide what to do. You know, with the Star card here, I feel like a lot of you guys might be healers. Look at that. We have the Ten of... You know, I feel, I feel, I feel like things are going to, things are gonna, things are gonna change for you because we have the Ten of Cups and then we have the Ten of Pentacles here and we have the Star card. So I feel like you are divinely guided. I feel uh, to, um, you know, or that you you're you're divinely protected here. Okay. Um, tell me what else does Libra need to know regarding their career and their money for the rest of May moving forward and onward. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for Libra. The Hermit, Virgo energy. We have the Magician here. More Virgo energy, Gemini energy. We have the Eight of Cups and the High Priestess. And then we have the Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. Wow. There's a bunch of people I feel like that's trying to sabotage you regarding, you know, your work life. I do feel like this is like a personal business. Okay, we have the Hermit here, Virgo energy. We have this uh, Gemini, no, uh, we have the Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy. Seems like you're trying to go deep within, trying to manifest here. Trying to manifest and, uh, and overcome this hurdle that you've been in here or that you're in. Because, you know, we have been stuck. Things are not moving forward. Eight of Cups and the uh, High Priestess, Cancer. Pisces energy here, okay? Um, seems as though, you know, I feel like you might be doing the right thing by walking away from this or stepping away from these individuals that has been trying to sabotage you, okay? We have the Nine of Swords here and the Three of Swords. There is stress and anxiety. There's despair here. There's heartbreak here. And like I said, some of you guys might have gone into, uh, 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 you know, um, business with a, a romantic partner and it just didn't work out. Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Okay, Three of Pentacles, the Magician, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups, Chariot, Cancer Energy, High Priestess, wow. It seems like you're stepping away from this a very toxic situation because I feel like you guys just didn't work well together with the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles here. Nine of Swords, Two of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Moon, Cancer Pisces Energy. We have Temperance here. 
things will balance out here for you. Right now, it's just quite chaotic, but it will balance out. I feel like your guides and your angels is helping you uh, regarding this whole situation that you're in. Three of Pentacles and the Five of Wands here. So I feel like you're trying to get out of this. You know, I feel like you're, you're, you've been dealing with people, a bunch of people that has been very manipulative towards you. We have the chariot, cancer energy. So I feel like you're making a decision to walk away from the situation that you're in. Very unhealthy situation, okay? Uh, very toxic. Tell me about, um, no, two of swords and the moon, cancer Pisces energy here. You know, regarding the relationship, regarding the romantic relationship, I feel like you might have fears about really stepping away from this person because I feel like there could have been some sort of trauma binding that happened here. I feel like this person may be forced their way into your business here, okay? And I feel like you were really uncomfortable with it, but I feel like this person somehow convinced you to let them into this uh, business that you were working on here, okay? So uh, Libra, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.